I'm Dr. Peg Strub, Chief of Allergy at Kaiser Permanente San Francisco, and I'm an assistant clinical professor at the University of California at San Francisco. We're now going to demonstrate how to use a nebulizer. This is the nebulizer machine that is available by prescription. We also use tubing um, which does need to be um, cleaned on a regular basis. But we're starting with a new set of tubing, which we're gonna open up the sack. Um, and we're gonna go ahead um, and take out um, the chamber. And we're gonna take our medication and put it directly into the chamber. We're now assembling the T piece and we're going to assemble the mouth piece. I'll call you back in two seconds. We're now going to assemble the tubing, um, which um, has a connection on the nebulizer machine as well as the tubing. We're going to make sure everything is tight um, and oftentimes we'll check that the mouthpiece is comfortably situated to go directly into the patient's mouth so that it's straight and then all we do is go ahead and turn the nebulizer on and we're going to put it directly in our mouth and then take slow, deep breaths. Slow, deep breaths. And then every couple of breaths, we really try to hold it down. The biggest problem with the nebulizers is that sometimes patients will be trying to take, trying to inhale it too rapidly. So we always want to slow the patients down and take just slow, deep breaths. I'm Dr. Peg Strub, Chief of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology at Kaiser Permanente San Francisco, and I'm Assistant Clinical Professor at the University of California, San Francisco.